a lot of times programs for women specifically use the words empowerment, disempowerment, and things like this. And it sounds like today we've kind of avoided those words and used confidence and, you know, be confident and mm -hmm. maybe the level of confidence isn't as high as it should be or something like this. So with yeah. women who maybe aren't, don't have that level of confidence related to their English, um, how can she become more confident and like, how does that work? Maybe you have an example of people you've worked with and how that might work. I think the first the first thing is understanding that they have a lot of limiting beliefs, that what they believe is true could just be a limiting belief that is stopping them. Okay. A lot of them would say like, well, I'm not good at languages. Is there okay. such a thing? Right. So if there is, how does it explain that people, when they move to an English speaking country, they learn that language, right? So are they all, okay, good at languages? Not necessarily. They've put the spot that they had to, they had no choice. Um, or I'm too old to learn a language, or I need to know every word before I speak, or um, I will not be fluent until I don't make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are all like limiting beliefs and helping them understand Okay, and, and break those, get rid of those, helps them just get to a different dynamic. Um, and as I said, when the, when the students first join, they're surprised to see that they're required to speak as soon as they join the first lesson, right? But that's really helpful for them because it, it automatically helps them understand that, no, they do not need to be a fluent English speaker or a perfect English speaker to have a conversation with anyone else who speaks English, right? And it's like, it's not as difficult as it was. And within, within a few lessons, when they start enjoying a conversation, when, when they have this big smile and they are laughing at her, their friends' comments and all that, I know that they have passed a lot of these limiting beliefs and they are at a different stage of learning. Um, so, yes, I think those are, are some. Um, so breaking, breaking those barriers and um, really focusing. But, of course, when it comes to, like, um, the language itself, uh, during, during our lessons, we, we can see where their biggest issues are um, and we can help direct them to focus on those so they get great results faster. And that way that motivates them to keep going. Because, of course, we want our students to see results and that builds their confidence. And, um, yeah, and then they start thinking of bigger goals. So, oh, yeah, now I can speak English. What's next? So right. we have a lot of the students inside the program that come and say like, oh, teacher, I applied for that job that I told you about. I'm like, great, go for it. I have an interview for this or I'm thinking about this. So they get into the state of thinking more. What's what's after this, right? What's the next thing? That's really important the, to think about what the next thing is because yeah. stop with the first one, then it you don't get the full potential out of it, right? Exactly.